So say source, the divine, the creator of all things, is made up of ten big circles. And source has to use these circles in order to create everything that is in, in existence. But with each thing that source creates, it takes more and more of their circles. So then, imagine that source has the 10 circles, but within each of those circles makes up another 10. Within each of those circles, there's another 10 circles that are just smaller. One, two, so source needs to use one circle and the ten circles within that circle to make all plant life on earth plants, trees, etc. Okay? But then it's going to need two big circles and the 20 circles within those two big circles to create the animals and insects. And after Source creates each of those things, those things have the ability to take the parts of Source that's within them and create something different from them. So, say, say the trees were actually able to create the plants. And then the plants were able to create grass, etc. But whatever amount of source that the trees started with would get smaller and smaller with each thing that it made. So think about this in regards to humans and us being born as babies and not being able to talk or walk or anything but as we start to grow we develop more skills and learn more things and eventually we're a thriving adult you think that just because you turned 21 that you automatically are an adult and have a certain amount of knowledge that most adults have but at some point your life gets t turned up upside down and you realize that you actually didn't know anything at all ever that everything that you ever thought you knew wasn't true or at least it was a very tiny piece of the big truth so in that moment is when you actually get to start playing with your pieces of source when you have that moment of realizing how big things really are that's when your true power is embodied and you're able to, to utilize your parts to create worlds and even though you might have been using this power before that moment that power was being used for things that weren't going towards your betterment or it wasn't going towards things that you necessarily wanted to create you were creating things with the disabled mind because you had no idea what the truth was. So you were creating things and you weren't getting the recipe right in order to create the things that made you even better and helped you evolve. But once you had that wake up moment, now you can actually utilize the things that you are creating to get you to be able to ascend. 
all humans have the ability, but if they don't take the time to develop the, that ability and study how to become better at mixing those ingredients or reading the ingredients correctly, then they won't ever get to their highest potential. And that's why we have so many humans that act like children and can't even comprehend half the things that they should be knowledgeable of because they haven't woken up to their part of source that they can use to facilitate amazing things into their life. So now think about you waking up as a human to your divine source within you and you're studying, you're working hard and you're doing your best to better your self and your environment. Even though everything uses bits and pieces of their own parts of source in order to create new things within source but as you're going in your evolution journey after you first wake up and become aware of your source embodiment with every circle that you reach you get to embody all parts of source that is within that circle and you grow some more and you get to embody all parts of source that's within that circle so say this one's plants and trees this one's water this one's animals until you get to the top of the ladder you embody the full complete pattern of source some people are born already at the number four or the number six step in the ascension process and they only have to go three more steps to get to source. 